Ahem. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why I'm do you have filming you. In my face? We're starting a YouTube right now. Dude. What is that? Josh Bale is new season. Oh, really? I smell that. See if I can. Yeah, I got it. Is smell it, good? it. That's what she said. Oh my god. I cannot wait to get home and cook something with this. Did you put it on the girl ground turkey today? So, actually, um. We know who this guy is. <laughs> We've met him a few times and he is an amazing dude. He is also really good on doing food prep videos. And now he has released a seasoning, so I'm super excited. I love cooking, you know. Uh, but guys, hi, welcome back to another video. If you are new to this channel, I am Ida. Um, and I'm here to simplify fitness and health for you. And in today's video, we will actually go through a little bit of a arm workout because a while back, wait, I'm going to do a, a master blend because the cameraman has already taken his pre-workout and I'm behind. So I'm going to take... As uh, always. <clears throat> that's always, yeah. I'm going to do a uh, half a scoop of Alpha Surge for pump and then half a scoop of Megavat because I don't think that I need that much caffeine, but I need the focus, so I will... Take it down. I think the donut's gonna make the pump as well today. Yes, that's why I'm a little bit hesitant, hesitant of doing the office search, but... It's gonna be an extra double pump today. Yes, but the reason why I am actually taking you guys along to this little arm workout today is simply because I posted a video, was it last week? Whatever, it was a couple of ish days ago on Instagram where I showed you to not take a shortcut in your workout. I show it on front lifts where people like always stop here and wait and then relaunch up. Like reset the reps all yes. the time. So it's like one set of 10 is reps. It's like 10 sets of one reps, if that makes sense. So, and in that, in that uh, comment row that I got on that video, it was like, can you please do one for biceps? So of course I am. And I'm going to do it so properly that I'm going to do a long form video on YouTube for this. How about that, dude? Sounds good. Sounds good. So I am going to sip on this, which always takes, have, takes. <laughs> yeah, it takes, uh, <laughs> it takes very well. It tastes very well. And you should go and get it. That will support the channel, but also support you in your workout. So why sleep on it? And yeah, I'll catch you at the gym. See you there. Shut up. I'm so thankful. Go, go. So, Chelan is hyping me up. She's singing Justin Bieber to me. Love her for that. Uh, and I am doing arms. I am warming up with a high rep um, bicep curl. A little bit of a V angle, I would say, in this one. Yeah, it just sits good. It sits good. That was a good statement, cameraman. Sit good. As you can see, I'm not going all the way down. Like I'm not going over there. I am going up all the way, squeezing, going down. But just be until I feel like the contraction is like stopping. Ugh. So I'm constant keeping the contraction going. It's, it's pumped, but it's too cold to show, so you will have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, biceps are warm. Let's go and warm up also the triceps and then do a superset regimen throughout the entire session. So, hopefully, we can get some warmth to going in this body because I'm cold. It's cold, it's cold. I agree. Whoa, let's do it. See if we can get some nasty pumps now. I think we can. So, in this, we're going to warm up our triceps with actually something that I uh, got inspired out from Mr. Kai Green. I love that dude. So we are doing, ooh, 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 close. So we are doing 15 reps like this. And then we're going to do, uh, going to do 15 reps in this direction. Fine. 
supine. Yes. So what we're doing, why we're doing that, is because it will still hit your entire tricep, right? But it will actually the angle will make on this side feel more on the lateral part of your tricep. You know the little bit of a Italian shoe kind of vibe on it. And in the supine, you will feel more on your medial, like inside of here. So you will feel it, it's gonna hit your tricep either way, we're gonna feel it more, so let's go. And the reason to why I like to warm up with a cable is because it's very smooth on your joints. And when you're training a lot of times in the week, you wanna be careful for your joints because they can be a little bit icky. Get your elbows a little bit more to the front than in the, the other grip. Ooh and you will feel the burn. Start on your medial head of the right then. And of this, I'm gonna do four sets, just like the one outside. Let's get it done. How is it going for you, cameraman? <laughs> is it burning? Too much burn. I can see it like being silly pumped right now. Yeah. Good, come on, squeeze it out. <sighs> <sighs> so cables and dumbbells is really fun. That's like that's my opinion. I think that that's the way that I want to get the pump, how I want to feel my the engagement, right? But it's always good to have one like proper, heavier exercise, a part of your arm program as well. So now I'm gonna do narrow bench press together with easy bar, easy bar barbell curls. That very correct, ma'am. Very, very correct. Let's do it. Yes. And here we want to still like fixate your shoulder blades. Get down slowly. And then before you feel your shoulders move in any direction, push it straight up. And push away with your tricep. You will feel it a little bit in your pecs. That's inevitable, but you should focus on pushing away with your tricep. And to do that, you can focus on pushing your elbows straight forward. And in this, I will work from a 12 down to like a six to really like stimulate and give some pressure and load to those muscle fibers. Barbell curls. Oh. Are you gonna curl 15 right away? No, <laughs> no, no. And in this, I can actually explain a little bit more in the same, as I told you when we started the video, I said that I'm seeing a lot of people not doing complete reps. They are stopping, restarting, stopping, doing. Don't so do that. we don't want to do that. So what we want to do is roll back shoulder blades, keep a, a contraction, get it up, keep the contraction, keep it, keep it, return when you feel like it's starting to release. Because if you have 12 reps to do, do 12 reps without resting. And if you cannot do that, that means that you need to decrease the weight. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. All right, now I'm gonna let cameraman do his set and I'm gonna rest because now I can hardly feel my arm. And as you can see guys, Henrik is locking his elbow into his side and that is exactly what we want to do. Because we don't want to have too much of a forward motion. And I suck big time on filming, I can tell. Yes, nice. Oof. Nasty pump. I'm gonna put this on. Can you guys hear me? 
Let's go. Ooh, heavy mother. Go less time reps. Let's go. Push with the twice. Boom. Oh, uh, this is heavy. Come on. Come on. Heavy stuff. You got it. Yes. Up. Yes. Oh. In all fairness, I think I need to increase the weights next next round. Yeah, in this one. Yep, and not in the other one. That I need to decrease, I think. Maybe not if I do eight reps. That snake you have on your arm. Snake? I don't like snakes. Anaconda or worms. On your... <sighs> Nasty. Alrighty, moving on. We are going to do an overhead tricep extension with dumbbells because I always want to have one overhead uh, either in cable or with a barbell. But today I fancy a dumbbell. And together with that, we're gonna do alternating hammer curls. <sighs> Brace myself, picking the weights up, and I'm going. <sighs> Was that the snake you were talking about? Yeah. I saw that. Guys, did you see it? Hashtag snake if you saw it. <laughs> to think about is getting your core tight, getting stabilization from your lats, shoulders, and keeping your elbows in the angle that you feel is suitable for your mobility. I like to try to push them towards each other to fully feel it in my tricep. And since I've been talking, I have no many, I have no idea how many reps I've been doing, but I'm just gonna go until I feel like I need to rest. Stretch and squeeze, stretch, and squeeze, and now it's done. Ooh. Did anyone count? I did not count. Ooh, that, I felt that one. Ooh. And a very obnoxious nod from cameraman saying, pick up the weight and go. It's time to go. All right. Hammer curl alternating if you want to be a badass uh, keep a little bit of attention in the resting arm which means do not relax it completely keep it a little bit like that what we want to do is to keep elbows still people we don't want to swing them can we and should we every once in a while yeah why not but if you want to have a proper contract, contraction and full connection with your bicep, make sure to work it in a still motion. Oh. <laughs> okay, you got to give me some cred for talking that much and yeah. still doing the reps because that was painful as a, oh. That means you need to increase the weight next step. <laughs> okay guys, I cannot talk so much in this exercise. We're going to start with a cable crossover for your tricep. Superset with a Superman curl. Let's do it. I am going to be T-Rex. T-Rex? <laughs> Damn it. I am going to be T-Rex tomorrow and I really hope that you Try this workout out. I also hope that you actually listen in to the tips that I give in this video because I think that if you have been cheating on yourself of doing like half reps or resting too long in your sets, maybe this can help you to gain some guns, you know? What do you say, cameraman? Yeah, You're smiling. I agree. Are you happy with today's workout? Very. Awesome. So guys, thank you so much for joining in. And if you thought this video was helpful, let me know down in the comments below and I will do more videos like this. And until next time, 
petite prelis. Make sure to subscribe, put on the notification bell, leave a like, and ha de best.